Two years ago today, I was sworn in as your 47th governor of Pennsylvania. On that day, I vowed to restore the billion dollar cuts to education and take a different approach for Pennsylvania. Together, we are making progress on that promise. We have restored the cuts to our schools, worked with law enforcement and medical professionals to expand treatment and tackle the heroin and opioid crisis. We've legalized medical marijuana, reformed our liquor system, and expanded health care to nearly 700,000 people. On a national level, today also marks the inauguration of President Donald Trump. And no matter who you voted for, every one of us must recognize the reality that too many middle class and working class families are hurting. I've traveled to every corner of Pennsylvania, from Hazleton to Connellsville, Edinburgh to Norristown, to inner cities and rural counties to listen to you. And what I'm hearing is that the economy isn't working for you and that you're looking to your elected leaders to act. In Pennsylvania, I have shown that we can do things differently and take on special interests in the well-connected to make Pennsylvania stronger. I am committed to continuing that work in a bipartisan way to protect seniors in education, continue to fight the opioid and heroin crisis, eliminate school property taxes, protect Pennsylvania jobs from being sent to other states, invest in manufacturing and our economy, and address our budget deficit that threatens all our futures. These priorities are values shared across our state, regardless of where you live or what party you belong to. I'm not a product of our political system, and I don't care what party you're in as long as you're dedicated to these values. I'm from a small town in central Pennsylvania. I'm the first governor of the Commonwealth who operated a forklift, managed a hardware store, and served in the Peace Corps, and ran a business. Before I was elected, I built a business the right way, by treating my employees fairly, by offering solid benefits and sharing my profits with them. I also changed my business model from a distributor of other people's goods to one that manufactured products right here in the United States that directly competed with Chinese products. And during my budget address on February 7th, I'll present a plan for rebuilding our middle class and making government more efficient so that we can protect education, job creation programs, and social services for the most vulnerable. We need leaders today who are willing to listen to each other, learn from each other, and work together to give all Pennsylvanians a shot at a great life. This age and this time demands nothing less. I look forward to continuing to work with Republicans, Democrats, and everyone in between to move our state forward. Thank you.